take a look at this lion. Is it missing something? It's strange to see a lion roar and not hear any sound, isn't it? Let's try it again. Oops, that wasn't right. There, that's more like it. Sound is important to our daily lives. It's a major part of how we understand what's going on in our world. But what is sound? Well, sound is the movement of energy through matter. Sound occurs when a force causes matter to vibrate. An example of this is plucking the string on a guitar. When you pluck the guitar string, it vibrates. The vibration of the string moves through matter and produces a sound. They need to be it's not as easy to see as the guitar string vibrations, but parts of our throats vibrate when we talk. Put your hand on your throat and try it yourself. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Sound travels in what we call sound waves. Sound waves move from the source of the sound to our ears. Sound takes time to reach our ears, but not too much time if you're close to the source of the sound. In air, sound moves at around 350 meters per second. That's longer than three soccer fields in only one second. Clap your hands. You hear the sound almost as soon as your hands meet. Sometimes you will see something before you hear it, such as a jet flying across the sky. This is because light travels much faster than sound. Sound waves can also bounce off walls in big empty spaces. This makes an echo. Let's take a deeper look at a sound wave. The frequency of a sound wave is the number of vibrations it makes in one second. The frequency of a sound wave determines its pitch or how high or low the sound is. Sound waves caused by faster vibrations have higher frequencies and make higher pitched sounds, like birds chirping. Sound waves caused by slower vibrations have lower frequencies and make lower pitched sounds, like a foghorn. Volume is how loud or soft a sound seems to your ears. Volume is determined by the amount of energy a sound has. For example, a sound like thunder has more energy and sounds louder to your ears. The sound of typing has less energy and sounds softer. Fast vibrations with more energy will produce a high, loud sound. And slow vibrations with less energy will produce a low, soft sound. What about slow vibrations with lots of energy? What sort of sound do you think they will produce? That's right, they will produce a low, loud sound. To demonstrate just how important sound can be to our lives, let's play a game. Can you guess where we are by listening to the sound? Come on, Dad. Did you guess it? We're at the beach. Sound can give you hints about what's happening around you even if you can't see. Let's look at the same example in a different way. Here's a video of the beach without sound. Now, let's have our video editor, Brian, add in the sound of the waves crashing, then the seagulls, then the children playing in the sand, and it all comes together. To make this happen on video, Brian carefully added the sound into the video at the right volume. Video and film editors like Brian can also change the way things sound. They can take the pitch of my voice and make it sound very high and silly. Or very low and spooky. There you go. So the next time you listen to music, explore the outdoors, or even have a conversation with someone, think about the matter vibrating around you. 
What are some of the sounds you hear around you right now? 